Reef DVMs coming at you here with an update folks on our tank. This is one of the 75 gallon tanks. This is the one that we had the phosphate phosphorus explosion we had all the issues with several months ago. We tried using Dynexel on it to get rid of the algae growth because we had a massive hair and cyanobacteria outbreak because of the phosphate problem. Anyways, to make a long story short, we went through all those tribulations and trials. We produced a couple videos on how they basically failed. And we turned around and went back to the tried and true. Um, we put the carbon uh, back in the, in the system, put the GFO back in the system, started running some Chemi Pure Elite in the system, which is carbon and GFO together. Went back to the basics of pull the water, 10% of it out of the tank every two weeks. And, you know, lo and behold, just like that, the tank started to come back. Here we are now. Um, it's about the end of November. This whole crisis started for us in August when we had a blocked up filter. We had some GFO that wasn't uh, very fresh. We had some carbon go bad. And, of course, we had a power jet and, and some other things clog up and not function. The tank instantly turned green with this brown cyano, you know, and red algae everywhere. Just a mess. But here we are. We've got it fixed. Our parameters are all back under stable conditions. You know, I got pH 8.3. Our calcium or alkalinity is good. Nitrates, nitrates good. The magnesium, the phosphates, the phosphorus all doing very, very well. Um, we like our parameters. The coral is coming back and doing very, very good. The sand bed looks good. It's not perfect, but it looks good. We need a little bit of cleaning on that now. Once we get that cleaned up, it'll look a lot better. But as you can see, oh, compared to the previous videos, if you go back to our phosphate issue videos um, or our failed um, experiment video, you'll see that the sand bed was just brown and red and even in some cases green. The nice thing about the sand bed now is, is it's it's come back to that white color. Now, granted, it's not a perfect white, but it's really close. We do some cleaning on it, it'll, it'll get back to that. We have a deep sand bed in this tank, and a deep sand bed is really nice because when you get a lot of critters in it, they can handle a lot of garbage, and they can clean it up pretty quickly. Obviously, the downside to that is if you don't have enough life in your deep sand bed, you'll never be able to handle the waste. You'll become uh, basically a trap for garbage down in the sand, and it in itself will grow all sorts of nasty bad stuff. So in this case, our sand bed is uh, coming back. It's uh, cleaning itself up. The critters are eating up all the excess of nutrients right now, which is great. I expect in another couple weeks it'll even look better than it does now. But this all happened because we left the phosphates in. Um, now granted, there's always got to be a little bit of phosphate, inorganic or organic, depending upon how you want to look at it. But at this point, we've gotten it down to a very, very low level. And every couple months we'll change the GFO and the carbon and we'll do our best to make sure our power heads don't clog up and that these corals stay beautiful and our fish seem to enjoy it. And we'll continue to have a wonderful aquarium like this. So I appreciate everybody following us. This is an update on the phosphate issue. Again, it's under control. Uh, we've got the Chemi Pure Elite running. We've got a uh, regular GFO running and some carbon running. Everything looks good on this tank. We're real pleased with it. The aquarium's back up to the condition we want, and it'll probably progress to even look better in the next month. Appreciate you guys watching. Please take the time to subscribe and like our videos. That's what tells us and helps us to keep producing these reef farm life videos and everything else we produce on our channel. Again, folks, thanks for watching, and I hope you guys have a great day.